Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on the Carla loungewear top. Let's get into it. To make this top you'll just need scissors, tape measure, pins, safety pin, matching thread, stretch fabric and elastic and of course the pattern. The pattern is available in the link below or if you jump onto our website at swimstyle.com.au the Carla pattern and also comes with the pants. Right sides together, pin the front to the back at the shoulder seams. I'll be using my overlocker or serger to sew the seams together in this video. I'm trimming little fabric off as this pattern is a one centimeter or three quarters of an inch seam allowance. Transfer the circle marks from the sleeve patterns to your sleeve sections. Open the top section out and pin the sleeves to the top section. Match the circle marks to the shoulder seams of the top section. Pin the sleeves to the top section. You'll notice I'm easing the sleeve head evenly as I pin it to the top section. Now stitch that together. Pin the top section together at the sleeves and side seams. Now stitch this together. Now it's time to pin and stitch the neckband together. Fold and press the neckband in half lengthways with right sides out. I'm going to stitch the edges of the neckband together. This will make the next step much easier. Divide and mark the edges of the neckband and neckline into quarter marks. Stitch the neckband to the neckline. This seam is a 6mm or quarter of a seam allowance. Stretch the neckband evenly between the quarter marks as you sew it to the neckline. It's important to only stretch the neckband enough to meet each quarter mark of the neckline. Now it's time to press the neckline. It's really important to take the time to do this to ensure a clean and professional finish. Here I'm just showing you how to press a garment and how to press the seam correctly once you finish sewing. It's really important to get all the corners and take your time when pressing. I've also pressed my sleeve casings and hem. I've cut the sleeve elastics. You'll find the elastic size chart in the sewing steps. 
Make sure you follow this for your correct size. Now pin and stitch the sleeve hems closed and leave a gap at the sleeve seam. And stitch the sleeve hems, making sure that you do leave that gap. Attach a safety pin to the end of the elastic. Thread the elastic through the sleeve casing and overlap the elastic ends together by two centimeters or three quarters of an inch. Secure it with a pin. I've stitched the elastic ends together and will now pin and stitch the sleeve casings closed. Now simply stitch that sleeve casing closed. Now it's finally the last step and you just need to stitch your hem. That's it, you should have a completed Carla top. If you'd like to view the video tutorial of the shorts or pants, just simply jump onto our YouTube channel where you can view the other video. If you'd like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. It helps us to continue to create content like this for you guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching.